Hey everyone, it's Tara Styles, and welcome to your seven week bliss in. This is the Friday of week one, and I have some just simple tips in the kitchen that have really helped me feel more calm, connected, and centered, and hopefully will help you too. So one thing, if you don't know already, and I'm sure you know about her, Chris Carr, she's taught me everything I know about juicing, and then I've started experimenting a whole lot more in the kitchen, and she has an amazing new book that is a New York Times bestseller. Everybody has it, if you don't have it, Get it, get it for everybody you know for Christmas. Crazy Sexy Kitchen. I can't wait to cook my way through all of these awesome recipes. So I'm super excited about that. So today I'm going to make a green juice and then also a nice kale, tasty, crunchy salad. Um, yeah, so I'm excited. So green juice is something that you can do every morning. Again, Chris Carr has actually provided me with my juicer. She sent it to me as a present and it really was, you know, a wake up call to get juicing. So big thanks to her for that. So, and, you know, she got me really on, really on the juice and it feels so good. If you drink green juice regularly, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't just trust me, try it and you'll really feel great. So for this green juice, you know, you can practically throw anything green in there, any fruits, vegetables, and it tastes amazing. But we're going to do kale and half a cucumber and some lemon and a little bit of ginger. So I'm just gonna kinda get about, about a handful of kale here. And then the other kale we're gonna make for the salad. And then we're gonna cut up our lemon. Here we go. And this, I've experimented with either just throwing the whole lemon in the juicer or squeezing it on the juice afterwards, and that works great too. I'm an apple. I found if you put an apple, it's kind of like a decadent treat in a juice. If you put an apple in a juice, it makes it like a cappuccino. You get this like fromy, frothy thing on top. So that's awesome. So I'm just cutting it up a little bit so it goes a little bit easier in the juicer. And a half a cucumber. And then we're going to use the other part of the cucumber for the salad later with the pepper. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. Okay, so here we go. Isn't that awesome? And we're going to drink this soon. All right, to the juicer. Don't forget the ginger. There we go. Okay, here we go. Mmm, and you can also take all of the extra pulp and run it through again and you get a little extra, a little extra juice there. So, mmm, so good already. Smells amazing. Once you start with this, you're never going to go back. And Chris always says to make a big batch in the morning, that way you drink it all day long. And it's true, if you make a big batch, you'll have it in your house, you can take it with you to work, and it's just good stuff. Better than coffee and candy bars. <laughs> mm. Oof, amazing. The lemon has the great kick. The apple, the kale, it's so sweet and so just, mm, it's yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay. All right, so now we'll move on to the salad, which is super amazing and crunchy and tasty. And if you like greens or salads or not, this one is really good. So you'll get hooked. So just take your kale, kind of break it up into little pieces and stick it in your bowl. And there you go. And my friend Shayna at Strala Yoga has taught me a lot about kale. A lot of people have taught me a lot about kale. Um, kale, you know, is awesome. If you don't know that kale is awesome, kale is pretty awesome. It's like your superhero best friend that will make you feel amazing and healthy and radiant from the inside out. It will give you superpowers and everybody wants to have superpowers. You just imagine your favorite superhero and you eat some kale and then you become your favorite superhero except your superhero is you which is awesome and uh and there you go so massaging kale is a little trick that makes it kind of shrink down so it's not so uh big <laughs> so you just put some lemon you can use olive oil too but i've tried without the olive oil and just the lemon and it works just fine so if you want to skip the oil and make it more fresh that's great as well. So you just kind of get in there and you know, like you're giving a back rub to somebody you love, massage the kale and make sure you do it with love because you don't want to eat your anger and your frustrations. <laughs> okay, so there you go. All right, so you've got your, your kale there. Again, you can make as big as batch as you want and save this, this will stay for a while. Um, you can do half a cucumber. I'm just gonna do a little section for our purposes here and just kind of chop this guy up however you like. 
slice and dice your cucumber. Um, cucumber adds the nice crunch here. Uh, so here we go. Kind of make up your own little techniques. I just bought a really uh, sharp, fancy cooking knife because, you know, I'm getting really into cooking and I'm like too afraid to break out of its box. I got like a little knife lesson at the store and everything, but you know, I haven't broken it out yet. I don't feel like I'm responsible enough for the cookie knife. And here you go, your pepper, your orange pepper, green pepper, red pepper, you know, whatever color. I think the color is very important. If you guys know me at all, you know I love color. Color is key because it makes you happy. <laughs> well, it makes me happy. And I think it makes everybody happy. Color is good. Okay, you know, everybody in New York wears black. That's not necessarily true. I don't hardly wear any black. <laughs> Genia, who comes to Strala a lot, if you're watching Genia, Genia always wears black. She looks really good in black, like suits her. Um, okay, so there we go. We've got this, we've got the pepper, we've got the cucumber, we've got the kale, and we can do a little bit more lemon on top, which is great. So what you can do, and I'm not kidding you, I served this to a bunch of Strala teachers and team members, and they thought this was amazing, like best salad ever, the whole thing. Um, I don't know if they were just, you know, saying that <laughs> to be nice, but, um, but I really like this. If you do want a salad dressing, this is one that's just really simple, really easy. A little bit of Dijon mustard and a little bit of balsamic vinegar. Um, I suggest to make it on the side in a little bowl. Um, you know, not too much of the mustard and then about two or three times of the vinegar and you just kind of pour that on there, eyeball it. And what you're just gonna do, take a little spoon, stir this guy up until it gets all nice and looking like something that shouldn't be that healthy for you, but it actually is totally fine. <laughs> So if you like a little salad dressing, this is great. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on our salad here. And mm, 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 this is good. Yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy. So make a big batch of this, eat it for, you can even have it for breakfast. I love salads for breakfast and for lunch. And then a sensible dinner, you know, it's the new way to go. Oh, mm, it's so, so good. Um, the crunchiness really makes it interesting, you know. I used to think for a salad to be good, you had to dump piles of cheese and like crackers and bread products on top of it, but no way, Jose. This is the new revolution in salads. Get cooking, make your salad. Let me know how it goes, and I'll see you soon. Bye.